Hello everyone and welcome to the employee series part two and today we'll be looking at the requirements to submit your 2020 tax return. But before we get into that, please remember to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss another video I will be uploading again regularly. So before I get into who is and who is not supposed to file tax returns from an individual standpoint, I'm first going to go over who need to submit tax returns. And firstly, it is all companies. So even if it's a dormant company, they have to submit a tax return. Trusts need to submit, uh, public benefit organizations, as well as body corporates all require tax returns that must be submitted. For individuals, however, if you have a trade, meaning you're a sole proprietor, or you have a rental trade, for example, you have to submit a tax return. If you had a capital gains transaction, either you sold a you sold shares or maybe you sold property and the gain was more than 40,000, then you also need to submit a tax return. And also if your gross income was more than 79,000 for the year, then you also have to submit a tax return. And you'll notice on the bottom of the page, I have added a link there. I will put it in the description. This is for the, if you are, if you want to look at the actual legal notice of uh, the requirement to file the 2020 tax return, it is there and I can put it in the description for you. However, you are not required to file a tax return if your remuneration from one employer was less than 500,000 and if you received local interest, your interest was, the total interest was less than 23,800 for the year. For if you're over 65, then that amount goes up to 35.5,000 for the year. Okay. However, if you get any allowance, like a travel allowance, use of motor vehicle, you have different type of allowances on your RB5, or you have deductions such as medical aid, retirement annuity, Section 18A donations, other expenses. You have the deductions that you want to make use of. You earn commission, for example, and you have commission expenses, or you're a contractor and you have those expenses. Definitely, then you have to submit your tax return. My advice in general, my rule of thumb, is to file regardless of these rules that you don't have to file if you earn below 500,000 for the year. Because let's say your employer deducted too much pay as you earn, you will still get a refund. However, if you don't submit your tax return, you can't get a refund. And when you submit your tax return, you get an assessment. And that's why I say the assessment creates the refund. The second thing is submitting your tax return, keeping up to date, regardless of what SARS says, it gives you peace of mind. Then you know that you are up to date with SARS and you know they can't say anything nasty to you or say you haven't filed this or this and that return. I remember when I first worked, my 2009 return was outstanding and I, I, was, I was earning almost next to nothing. Um, I was earning 3,000 rand a month and so I still came back and said I need to file a tax return. The third thing is it avoids unnecessary admin penalties. Sometimes in the past SARS have issued admin penalties to taxpayers even though they are not required to file tax returns. And also if you need your tax clearance certificate sometimes the system can show that you must submit a tax return even though it's not required. And that's why I say filing your tax return, even though it's not required, will give you peace of mind. It will avoid the admin penalties and you will have no problems with getting a tax clearance. Okay, so the last thing I want to mention, submission due dates. These are very important. Just keep them in mind. The 22nd, 22nd of October is for everyone who is doing manual submissions. Uh, either in person at the branch or if a SARS official helps you to file your return. The rest of us who are 
non-provisional taxpayers, people who do not have necessary trading income outside of normal employment income remuneration. Our deadline would be the 16th of November 2020. And then for everyone else, the deadline is 29th of January 2021. Okay. And that is it. Uh, let me know if you like this way of teaching. I'm using PowerPoint the way I did it now. Um, I'm not standing in front of a whiteboard anymore. So let me know if the audio quality is fine and everything. And yeah, so please remember to like and subscribe. I am going to create more videos like this in the future. Cheers.